Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for having me here in Infocom. I would like first to introduce myself. My name is David Kellerman. I'm customer success technical advisor for CyberArk Software. And I'm here today to speak with you about how we, CyberArk, can help you get your enterprise ready for the GDPR regulation. First of all, for those who don't know us, we are, who we are, CyberArk, CyberArk is the trusted advisor in the field of identity and access management. CyberArk <coughs> was founded 19 years ago and, and has more than 3,000 customers worldwide. CyberArk is the undisputed leader of the privileged account security. GDPR brings with it a big opportunity to address better the protection of personal data. But also with that big, big opportunity comes a lot of challenges. It starts from the vast amount of data that we have today. Data today is absolutely everywhere. Data is growing, it's growing exponentially, and that situation isn't going to change soon. The growth of data also creates much wider attack surface, and the attackers becoming much more sophisticated. By this time, the traditional organization keep using and keep the classic and traditional mindset of protecting unlegitimate access to the critical assets. While the attackers will not try to uh, gain unlegitimate access to that critical assets, but they will try to steal the valid keys and, the valid, and get a valid and legitimate access to that assets. For example, stealing credentials. And another challenge I would like to mention is that for the first time, this regulation puts the responsibility not only on data processors, excuse me, not only on data controllers, but also on the processors. So we in CyberArk, for some reason it's not working. OK. So for that reason, we in CyberArk have determined four key requirements based on the GDPR regulation that we believe will help you, first of all, address better the protection of personal data in your organization, and second, be compliant with the GDPR regulation. It starts from the requirement to protect the access to personal data by design and by default, goes through the need to respond rapidly and notify to the supervisory authority after a breach. After then, the requirement to assess the risk and the potential impact of a potential personal data breach. And at the end, you have to protect your organization from non-compliance by demonstrating that compliance and by demonstrating that you're in full control of what's happening in your organization. In that presentation, I will a bit dive into each one of these requirements and explain how we, CyberArk, can help you achieve and cover all that key requirements. So the first one, protecting the, the access to personal data by design by default. So, assuming that 100% of the targeted breaches involve stolen credentials, we may all agree that by default protection means to store safely and protect that credentials and limit the use of them. For example, if you store personal data in a particular database and you have a user that needs to get access to that data in that database, so this user will first of all required to personalize and authenticate his access to that database. That will be the first by default protection. And second, that user will be limited to the least privilege required for that action he needs to do with that data. We in CyberArk believe that in order to achieve by default protection to the, personal, to the access of the personal data, we can do that by three pretty easy steps. First of all, find, uncover, and lock down all credentials in your organization. Secu store them in a secure manner, such as Digital Vault, for example. Second, <clears throat> be sure that all access to critical assets and personal data in your organization is fully isolated, and you have full control of that access. And the third part is continuously keep monitoring the access and everything happening with that personal data. With CyberArk, can provide you all that three steps. Second requirement I would like to discuss is the requirement to respond rapidly, detect and respond rapidly, and notify the supervisory authority about a personal data breach. So for sure you all know that the supervisory authority and the regulation will require that within 72 hours after you become aware to a breach, you will notify the supervisory authority about that breach. 
But the supervisory authority not just waiting for a notification in a kind of, hey, we had a breach and that's it. The supervisory authority requires to get data about that breach. What happened? What exactly happened with, that, with your data, with the personal data, and what measures have you taken in order to mitigate that risk? By adopting CyberArk and by controlling every access to personal data using the CyberArk bridge account security, you will be able to demonstrate a full audit trail and to have uh, full reporting capabilities that will collect for you all the right data and the required data needed to report after a breach. But I would like to put on the side for one moment that regulation, that requirement, and suggest a bit different way of thinking. Why thinking about how can we respond from the beginning and not how can we, before that, prevent that breach? So by CyberArk, you will be able to use what we call a privileged threat analytics engine. A score-based engine that leverages <coughs> machine learning algorithms that will allow you to detect, response, and mitigate risks at, mil at real time. I mean, you will notif be notified about a potential risk and a potential breach, and at that moment, that risk will be stopped at that moment automatically. We do that by collecting data from various sources, correlating them. Again, you don't need to configure rules for that engine. That engine is self-learning engine, absolutely automatic. You just plug it, it learns your network, it learns how your users are using the access to that data. And then based on that, this engine will be able to alert about suspicious activity. When CyberArk suggests by using that engine in general to change the way of thinking, from reactive security to proactive security. Stop the threat as it goes. The third key requirement will be the requirement to assess the risk and the potential impact of potential personal data breach. When Cyber can offer you various assessment tools, but I would like today to focus on two of them. First tool we call DNA. DNA stands for discovery and audit. Discovery and audit tool, it's a pretty simple tool, but a very powerful one. This tool will allow you to scan your network, uncover potential risks in your network coming from privileged accounts, generate a very detailed high-quality C-level report, and by this you will be able, first of all, to assess the risk in your organization, second, to communicate that, risks, that risk easily to the executive and the management level of your organization, and also, I would like to mention that the DNA tool is an independent tool. You don't have to be cyber a customer in order to use that. And more than that, the DNA tool is a free of charge tool, which means you don't pay money for it. So I encourage you all, after that session, I will be at the NSS booth. And you all welcome, welcome to come apply a request for a license, and you will get a license. And again, you will be able to assess the risk over your network free of charge. Second service for risk assessment of CyberArk is the red teaming service. That red teaming is a bit different from classic penetration testing. We will not check a particular system of yours. We will check the, your effectiveness, the effectiveness of your overall security strategy. It's also an independent service. You don't have to be CyberArk customer in order to use it. And also, you're invited to hear more after the session at the booth about the red teaming. Using that assessment tools, we believe that you will be able to measure the risk over your network and over critical assets. You will be able to understand where you're strong and when you, where you can do better. But what I believe is most important is that using those tools, you will be able to measure the improvement over time, to understand if you are in the right direction or you, can, or you should recalculate your pathway. And also, you will be able to demonstrate that process to the management in your company. Last requirement I would like to discuss is the requirement to protect your organization from non-compliance. We in CyberArk believe that privileged account security is a key for compliance. We believe that by regulating and by controlling every access to the data using CyberArk privileged account security, you will be able to, first of all, demonstrate a full audit trail of what happened with that data, who accessed the data, when accessed, who is accessing the data right now, and what 
he's doing right now with that data. Also, you will have full reporting capabilities that will allow you to show that you are compliant, that will allow you to show that you are in full control of what's happening in your organization. We in Cyborg believe that security is not a single player game. We believe that it's a teamwork. For that reason, we have established what we call the C-Cube Alliance. The C-Cube Alliance is a partnership alliance that intends to have as much integrations with products and other vendors in order to extend the benefits of CyberRock to your entire technology stack. For sure, you already see here some logos of vendors already implemented in your network. The last news from CyberRock CQ Balance is what we call CyberRock Marketplace. It's a marketplace which actually was announced just yesterday. And this marketplace is for our customers. They can just go in to a web portal, find the integration they need, and in kind of self-service, download the integration with the right documentation and easily integrate without any support needed, I believe, from the vendor or from the partner. They can do that on their own. If they can't want help, they can, of course, get that. So, in conclusion, I would like each one of you to take away from that session these four key requirements and ask yourself, do I really, am I really protecting the access to personal data with the right tools? Will I be able to respond rapidly to a breach and notify with the right data? Do I collect the right data? Am I using the right assessment tools and I'm, and I'm able to demonstrate improvement over time? And at the end, am I using the right controls and do I have the right demonstration tools that will allow me to show that I'm compliant? So we believe that the answer for that question is CyberArk. And at that step, I would like to, first of all, thank you again and uh, to wish you a great conference. Thank you.